It took them six months longer, but they are finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Esther and her family arrived in Idomeni as the borders along the Balkan route were shutting down. After a few weeks, they decided to head back to Athens and register with the European Union Relocation Program. When we arrived in Athens, we had a housing problem, but they told me that the UN should help. After my interview, they brought us here to the hotel. At the beginning, people here were looking a little strange at us, but I put myself in their shoes and thought if they had arrived in our country in the same way, how would we have looked to them? Ibrahim arrived in Idomeni at the same time. He worked as a translator for U.S. forces in Baghdad, and he says his life was under threat. When we met him, he was worried he wouldn't be able to reach his wife. He left the makeshift camp a few months later when the Greek government announced its closure. And since then, he has been going from camp to camp trying to find some peace and lots of patience. It's very difficult to ask someone, OK, I'm sorry, but I need money to charge my phone credits. I'm sorry, I need money to buy shoes or, for example, to buy something. It's very difficult. Is it humiliating? Yes. It's pain me. I don't know when they call me. I don't know when they will make an interview. All these problems is affect, start to affect on my mind. I start to be very silent, don't communicate with people. I'm shocked. His is a story common to most of the 60,000 refugees stranded in Greece. Nazim and his three children stayed at the border until police evacuated the fields. He's been living in a camp on the outskirts of Thessaloniki, hoping to reach his wife in Germany under the family reunification program. But living conditions there are dangerous for his son. He has a very low immune system. Even a mosquito bite can kill him. He has had his spleen removed and needs special care. I am very tired, physically, emotionally, financially, in all ways. I hate everything these days. I hate my life. They need to reach their mother. They are not ISIL. They are children, minors. Under the EU program, 160,000 people should be relocated across the continent. But so far, only about 4,000 people have been processed. The rest languish in camps, wondering for how long will this transit last. Hamid, Al Jazeera, in Northern Greece.